Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And for those who are new, we say welcome. Uh, my name is Gibbs and uh, the queen of the house is not with me today. Uh, I know it has been a while since we last gave you guys an update on the house. About uh, four months ago now since uh, the last video. So yeah, uh, you have an opportunity to see the progress in this video. Actually, it's a two year building anniversary because we broke ground in October of 2020. So it has been two years now since we started this journey. And we appreciate you working with us this journey over the last two years. And, uh, you know, we've enjoyed reading your comments and sharing information. Some of you have reached out, you know, asking for information about contractors, suppliers and so forth. So yeah, we are happy to do that. Uh, so you have an opportunity to hear from our project manager as well as our building contractor uh, who are on the ground and also see some of the work which is being done currently and some of the work which still needs to be done. You know, we can see light at the end of the tunnel. It has been a long journey, but we are excited with what we have achieved so far. Still a lot of work, of course, but, you know, I would say, you know, uh, we have covered more work than what's left to be covered. So that's uh, that's uh, a good thing. Yeah, so again, we look forward to any comments. You have, may have questions. Uh, feel free to put in the comment section. We always enjoy reading those. Uh, and also we are always happy to share information about our contractors, uh, suppliers, if you are, you know, are also building in Zimbabwe. Okay. Of course, there are some challenges we have incurred, but uh, you know what? We are just happy that, you know, most of those challenges we have overcome them and we'll continue to overcome them. So it's, um, it's exciting. Just going to take you through uh, what we have been doing on this building. On House Kanyongo, uh, we have been going through the building skeleton where all the brickwork has been done, plastering has been done. Now we are moving uh, to finish up the, the finishing works. We have done some touch ups on the specialist works, which covering from uh, we have special doors design for this house they've been done and we are in, in progress of installation and we have done all the aluminium works it has been a tough gen uh, having one company and another so that we can achieve what we want but we pulled through though we still have one or two challenges uh, but we are finishing up and the other specialist works we have done uh, we, had, we have done these steel fabrication works uh, specifically from the main entrance canop and uh, to the balustrade and we expect to do the entertainment deck canop and I think we have been working well with our fabricators and uh, tiling is in progress this has been done under the main contractor and uh, we are going to have uh, guys who are going to cover the ceiling and uh, painting plumbing and electrical is still in progress and the, it's going to be the final and electrical aspects installation we are going to finish up so we are towards the finishing line so since we are now doing the finishings and the most difficult thing towards finishing is when the client start having the feeling of what exactly they want from the aspect of texture of the building and the finishing the uh, the, the proper outlook in terms of the color of the tile, the, the type of the uh, plumbing fixtures, all that, all that we have to engage the client back and forth. It's not like a commercial uh, building when you work with a budget and the quantity survey and the architect specifications. When you are doing a residential project, that's when you have to engage the client most uh, frequently so that they can choose what exactly they want and you can advise on what's best for the uh, within the budget and uh, within uh, quality 
So I think we are achieving that. Another thing I wanted to discuss about is that now the house is towards the finishing and we are already putting the texture on the building. So now you can have a feeling of the concept we have been uh, discussing throughout the, the process uh, from the main approach of the house, main entrance with the big main wooden door which gives the us a, a balance between aluminium works and it gives us an impression of the main entrance so that's why we chose wood over the the wall house with aluminium uh, fixtures now from the usage of wood and doors on the main entrance it will lead us to the staircase where we use the combination of steel and wood which take us to the top floor our balustrade are a combination of glass and uh, stainless steel the, 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 the use of different materials is more like uh, the makeup. Every space is to speak a certain language. Of course, there is a relationship between all the, the materials we are going to use in the building. They have to connect, but every space, it has to define itself in, uh, because they have a different uh, usage and a different feeling uh, we want to give to a person when they are using the house. <music> Greetings once again. So we're back at Project Kanyongo and uh, just giving you an update on what we've been working on recently. We've now moved on to the finishing stage of the project and currently we've been working on the skimming as well as the tiling of the floors. So for the skimming we're looking at basically putting a skim light coat on the walls that we plastered previously. Ideally we want to do this after the windows are in as uh, rainwater can affect uh, our skim, final skimming. So we want to do that once we have got full water cover and protection. So that's what we've been here to do, uh, as well as the tiling of the floors, uh, where we're putting 60 by 60 centimeter tiles throughout the household uh, and smaller tiles for specification for the bathrooms uh, and, and in suites. So basically that's where we are at the moment. We are also just supervising and working with all the other subcontractors. As you know, towards the finishing end, there's a lot of uh, boots on the ground, a lot of workmen doing various things. So we just need to manage the site, ensure that where we have done work before, uh, nothing gets uh, destroyed or out of hand. Wherever there's need for touch-ups, we come back, uh, replaster, re-skim, etc. So that uh, when we open up for painting, uh, all the surfaces are smooth and ready to go. Uh, it's been a pleasure working on this project and it's been great working with the team, a very pleasant client uh, and a wonderful team around the project. So excited for the finishing uh, part that's coming. What we're left to do is put in the plumbing fixtures in the actual bathroom. So we've done all the piping work, but we now need to actually put in the specified tubs, uh, showers, um, etc. Uh, and then also the electricals, we've done all the wiring and uh, placed the conduits. Now we need to actually fit in the final fixtures, the sockets, uh, the light fixtures, etc. So excited to see the project coming to a completion and a uh, very beautiful house coming up. Exciting that uh, we have come this far. So again, thanks a lot for following us and uh, we always appreciate you guys and uh, looking forward to those comments. All right, uh, for now, take care and I uh, will see you in the next video in our next update uh so yeah have a great day bye bye